It's a long race, 40 laps is not short at all. Uh, it's a good, good hour of racing. I spent a lot of time training with uh, some of the American trainers here. We prepared as well as we could for this event. I'm good with that. Let's get yeah. him what he needs and we'll be there. Copy. on the back foot coming into this weekend but we got up to speed fairly quickly. I didn't come into the weekend with high expectations but I think that's really what got us motivated for the race. on every run, so we were pretty effective. Everyone worked pretty hard. Good job, young man. Well done. Good start. Yeah. So we'll just go... We got the car a little better and just keep chasing it. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of the only reason why I don't want to go new tires so soon is because me personally, I was improving more than the car yeah. all the time, so... When we did the back to back, I felt more comfortable in the old cars. <laughs> this, uh, there's so much rubber down <clears throat> that you know you're not gonna get. It's not like a green track yeah. where you get a big improvement. It's just loads and loads of rubber. Anyway. Exactly. To be honest, uh, you know, he really surprised me. You know, we tested here. He did a really nice job in the test. We were expecting good things, but then, uh, you know, it's it's a tough competition here in the Indy Lights field, and he jumped in and was running right with front front runner. So. So far, so good. Yeah, it's, it's impressive. It's, it's always fun to have some new, exciting talent in the field. Axel's dream has always been Formula One, and of course that dream is still there. But anyway, with the, this opportunity came about through Starting Grid and American Honda, and it came at the right time because things didn't work out with our program in Europe. Axel's been here for a few months, and he's very, very excited of um, going the Indy route. What's up, buddy? You good? good. Uh, not, not too bad, huh? It was a, it was a good first day. Yeah. Okay, it's a little damp out there. We just watched the fiasco, which would be USF 2000, yeah. and uh, it was Crazy. not pretty. Cause it's gonna be dry for qualifying, right? Probably. But just, just to be safe, we're gonna scrub the tires to keep it. Don't crash the car. I know that's a not real positive <laughs> thing to say to you. But <laughs> For me personally, it was a tremendous experience being able to be an American company welcoming over a group from Africa. I was extremely humbled by them accepting the invitation for them to come over and compete in Indy Lights. I'm very blessed and proud that we were able to provide them the opportunity and the experience and the exposure that they've been seeking in order to keep their career alive. Axel Jeffries is no doubt a talented individual that's going to see success at whatever level he chooses to perform, and the Jeffries as a family could not be more gracious in welcoming me. Obviously, this is a journey that we'd both like to take together, and if they aspire to be in Indy Lights and in Indy Car, then certainly I would like to help facilitate that opportunity, and Starting Grid welcomes that challenge.
Axel Jeffrey started P6, finished P7. But what an incredible race this young man had in his American racing debut for Starting Grid and Brian Herta Autosport. Starting Grid and American Honda gave me a great package and an extremely good car. I think as a team and as a driver, we learned a lot this weekend. And hopefully we can just carry this momentum into possibly some more races later on in the year. I know a lot of the drivers from previous series that we've competed and they've always been competitive so I wasn't expecting them to be any less competitive than they were. They were very impressive and I think overall we have to be content with what we got. For sure I would have liked a podium but it's going to take a bit more time and practice which I'm sure if we do another couple of races that could be possible. Hey man, great job. Good. <laughs> Good. You did a great job. 40 great laps, that's, you know, every lap's a learning process, isn't it? You know, I'm very grateful for all the support I get back home in uh, Zimbabwe. They're always behind me, they, they're happy no matter what I do, but I think for sure a solid top 10 result will, will make them happy, and uh, I'll continue to be a, a great sporting ambassador. You don't get more patriotic than myself and Axel, to be quite honest. <laughs> We put the Zimbabwean flag all over Europe, all over Asia, and I'm proud to say we've raised our flag in the USA, and we're gonna have that flag flying on the podium at the next event, I, I can assure you of that. Zimbabwe is behind Axel in a very, very big way. Um, he does his bit uh, in promoting the country, and I'm sure he's making a lot of people back home feel very proud, and he's doing a good job. Overall, it's been a great experience and I really would like to thank Starting Grid and American Honda because they've given me such a good opportunity. They welcome me into America and it's been a really great time. I know this, this can open doors for us in the future and I'd love to continue working with both parties.